title of this session, it, we do not do that anymore. It's a line title song from Moisture Band album, the early, late, late 1980s. The idea when I wrote this was that this would be about getting away from the traditional idea of illustrators and graphics people, of people just sit at drawing boards, doing drawings on drafting film, with occasional little bits of digital technology thrown in. This has changed. The graphics industry in archaeology has changed radically in the years Frighten me, it's about 25 years since I started getting involved. I used to be new to this. Anyway, uh, what I hadn't quite anticipated was making the title slightly more topical than I expected. Uh, my point of boys no longer do graphics and publications in the war office. So we actually do not do that in the war. I'm a little bit small point, shall we say. At least one member of our audience. So, anyway, what, where are we? This conference theme is about the future of our profession. This is what we need to think about while people are giving their presentations this afternoon. Where is it we want to go in the course of the next few years? I have to admit, it worries me to some extent. Uh, universities seem to have got out of training this work, except for very, sort of very highly specialised universities. A uh, number of people who are coming out of universities who are going to work as graphics people in offices with next to no training is quite frankly a bit worrying. I'm one of the members of the validation and some of the stuff we see in very much which is being submitted by people is very worrying. People cannot locate sections of artifacts in the correct relative positions. People who stick labels straight on top of bits of the line work so you cannot read the label because of the experience of the lines. What is worrying is that people like this clearly haven't been trained properly to do this work. What is even more worrying is that there are managers who are signing up this work as acceptable. This is where even people like Graft Talking will do. It's up to us to maintain and promote the correct standards of doing this. So people have examples of how to do things properly, how to do things correctly, how to do things intelligently, how to make the archaeological work which we're doing with our colleagues, the community, versus whatever, useful and usable to the various audiences who look at this stuff. Perhaps not this year, but perhaps 10, 20, 30 years down the future. So, with that, I'd like to introduce our first speaker. Mm -hmm.